Hello and welcome back to SAP Plan Maintenance Training. This is Farooq from QBRP. In today's session, we are going to look at something called multiple counter plan. So, in plan maintenance, we have the option of doing a couple of type of different type of maintenance. We can you can have performance based or time based. So, this is like a car uh, where you you are given a service book and in the service book they say okay after every fifteen thousand kilometers. For the, you need to go for your service. So this is based on your counter reading or your mileage, mileage of your car. Also, they say uh, after every fifteen thousand or every three months, or so this is a combination. So this is a combination of performance and time. So the performance is like counter reading, which is a fifteen thousand kilometers, and time is like three months. So the preventive maintenance is scheduled based on this counter reading. So what we need to do is, I mean, uh, so let's say we are going to take a car for which we are going to do create a maintenance plan, uh, multiple counter plan. So the maintenance of car will be done after every one thousand kilometers. So one thousand becomes our measuring point, and the characteristic based on what one thousand kilometers, not one thousand meters. So it is one thousand kilometers. So preventive maintenance needs to be done at this point whenever this point is crossed. So let's start this one. So to create the cycle, we need to we have a transaction called IP eleven Z. So in IP eleven Z, we are going to create a cycle. So this is IP eleven Z. So let's create new entries. So, so let's name it and then also give a bit of a detail. So let's say car service one service plan for Corolla. Press enter and then let's click on cycles. And then within the cycles, in the new screen, we are going to say new entries. New entries. So here we are going to create like what are our what is our performance based plan and what is our time based plan. So let's say ten, one thousand kilometers performance based. Short text performance based. Twenty So this is time based. First line was performance based and second line is now time based. So we have created this one cars one and let's save this here. So data has been saved. So next step is to create the characteristic the days and the kilometers. Normally it should already be created in the system but just for the sake of learning we'll just go and see how it is created. So create characteristic the transaction is CT04 and CT04. So name the characteristic like kilometers Standard should already be there. So let's say uh, kilometer one. Press enter. Yes. Basically, what I should have done instead of enter was just click on this one. This is a create icon. So I will just say yes. For cars one, so this is cars one status is released data time. So let's take numeric. 
number of characters how many characters say 1000 has got like 4 so if it is 100,000 well, let's go by 6 unit of measure in kilometers let me just put kilometers directly here decimal places let's go by 2 yeah so this is a template so that's about it so with this one we have created our characteristic let me just save the characteristic So, characteristic kilometer 1 has been saved. Let me just say So, the next step is to create an equipment and then create an equipment task list and in the task list within the operation Okay, so So, let me go into SAP and create an equipment IE01 so let's create a equipment let's say car 1 object type uh, let's see if they got something called vehicles here I'll just take a vehicle I'll just give a brand here, Corolla car, plant 1000, organization, business area 1000, work center, yep, structure, so we'll give our functional location. And then we now we can save our equipment car one. With the car one created, let's uh, let me just add equipment car one. And then let's create the task list. Task list is the transaction is IA01. In IA01 car one press center usage for status for released let's go into operations let me just copy this uh, part here and I will service after 1000 kilometer or 30 days Let's say three hours, one, four hour is a four hour is the total duration. Press enter. Uh, that's it. Let's save this task list. The next step is to create a measuring point. Measuring point. Then how do we know that car has done one thousand kilometers, or what is a odometer reading? So this is the measuring point. So we create the measuring point by IK01. So once we have a measuring point, then somebody is going to enter the reading. So in the measuring point, we are going to give the equipment that we have just created. Measuring point object is IEQ. Press enter. Measuring point is a counter. So in this screen, uh, what we need to do is measuring position. Measuring measuring position, as we said earlier, was one thousand. We are going to 
for every 1000 kilometers the car is going to be serviced description let's give some description like automated reading of the car of Corolla characteristic the characteristic that we just created uh, we have created characteristic here kilometer one so let me just copy from here so this was the characteristic that we created measuring point is a counter so I've already checked it measuring point is a counter so let me just press enter for system to update so it's picked up the unit to measure the decimal points so the annual estimate so we need to give an annual estimate so let's see annually car is going to travel around maybe say 12,000 kilometers which means 1,000 kilometer per month 12,000 uh, put I think one extra zero let me just move 12,000 so 12,000 is my annual estimate counter overriding the maximum value of the counter so the counter after it reaches this value it is going to reset so let's say the maximum is 100,000 So this is 100,000. So this is how we're going to create. How do we create the measuring point? So we have now created the measuring point, and we can now save it. So measuring point one one eight six eight created. One one eight six eight. So we have now created the underlying data which is we have got the equipment, we have got the task list, we have got the measuring point, we have got the characteristic which we use in the measuring point. So the next step is to create a multiple counter plan. So before I create the multiple counter plan uh, I would think I will end this session here and in the next session we will start with by creating the multiple counter plan. Thank you and I will see you in the next session.